Hi friends, this is part three of a three-part series. The first two parts were the drive out here into the Las Cienegas National Conservation Area, and part one was the drive out and touring the Empire Ranch House, the old abandoned ranch house. 28 rooms, and part two was the uh, rest of the tour of the ranch house and the walk out into the creek area where the old giant cottonwoods were. Anyway, this will be uh, part three, and this is a drive off into the desert towards the Chiricahua Mountains and seeing the places that uh, people can camp for free. The Chiricahua leopard frog, up to five inches long. Okay. Little frog plays a big role. You know, we have a friend who had a summer job going out to tanks out in the hills and the mountains for animals to get water out of. His job was to go out there and count the frogs in the tanks. And it was an environmental study to see how the environment was doing. So, we've come to the back side of the sign because we walked around the other way, but it says Discovery Trail. I took one when we went out to uh, Dripping Springs. He was up on the cactus like that, but he yeah. was eating a rat. He had just gotten a pack rat or something. So, I'm going to try one. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah. Hello, Mr. Bull. I think it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a boy. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a guy. Um, <laughs> That's a say. That's a boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Well, you don't understand, cow? What? <laughs> Mm. She's not interested mm. in right now, Jerry. Yeah, see, it's not even oh, as green Jerry. down here as, normal, right. as normal is. Oh my gosh. It's not as green. Look, there, there's a, a parking area right up here on the right. Frogs and turtles and all kinds of stuff. Oh, look at, there's a lot of bulls out here. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, this is the bull section and then the girls are over over the other way by the prairie dogs. They hold all the calves in a nursery together. So do they have cows in Louisiana? Yes. Because yes. I've never heard anybody call them boys and girls before. It's like bulls and cows. Boys and girls. It's just me, though. It has nothing to do with Louisiana. It's Look at that one. Damn, there's a buffalo. Look at that. That's a buffalo. <laughs> you guys ever see a buffalo before? Look yeah, at this. So Check it out. A that's a buffalo, man. Yeah. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo and, and, and the deer yeah. and the antelope. You know, I I don't understand. This is the one he wants to take home. I don't understand that song because, you know, the 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 buffalo, they're like roaming, 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 roaming. It's like a job, and then the deer and the antelope, they just play. <laughs> this is one of those stock tanks, yeah, uh, where they have water for animals. Endangered Species Conservation Site. So this is like a frog thingy here. Uh, I started to say a while ago, oh look, this is shotgun show. Kind of big for shooting frogs. Uh, our friend Aaron Chambers had a job one summer where he came out to these tanks and I don't know, I can't get high enough uh, to count the frogs, to check on the status of the environment. I'm going to go look and see if there's a frog in there. There's an opening right over here without barbed wire. <laughs> well, if you grew up in South Dakota, barbed wire is not a problem. <laughs> uh, snakes would be. Hang on a second here. I still can't see in there, can I? Oh, I can. I don't see any frogs. If 
If I was a frog, I wouldn't want to be in there. You could see him I'd want to be over here. This edge over here goes that edge of that pond. You can see real well right here. Come on, froggy. Where are you? There's a nest up there. It's like probably a hawk nest, huh? Yeah, there's always a hawk sitting right there. Uh, I guess if I was a frog, I'd want to be over here. It's interesting to see water in the desert, that's all. Oh, hello there. I only just came to take a picture of your tree. I'm not going to bother you. Don't bother me. So, uh, this tree, big as it is, big as it is, is just a little branch off of what used to be. Even bigger. Look at that. And then it all fell down here behind the bull. So those bulls ain't so friendly here, I can tell you that. Yeah. So. I know I'm not a bullfighter, but I'm not really afraid of cows. Well, you hear him, baby? He's rumbling. Yeah, I've been charged by one once. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Did you get behind a tree? Of course. <laughs> That's what I tell them. They were both chicken last year, and I kept telling them, look, just keep moving, and they'll move out the way. Don't bother them. <laughs> yeah, don't try to pet them. Well, they, stamped, they stamped their foot, and they came running at me. Were you wearing red? Nope. <laughs> That's it's all. not the red, it's the waving. I was just hiking through. <laughs> you, happy. you looked like an aggressive bull, so he was going to go after you. <laughs> now where you want to go? It's all just uh, open land with some boondocking and oh, do y'all want to go both ways. drive up on a little different feet? environments both I ways? I think we can drive this on a happy. Which way? Where? Right. Go right. Okay. And then when we get to it, you can decide if you want to drive up it or not. Yeah, it was really bad actually. I was so sad. I stopped going over by that water and pulled. Getting technical. No, we're air down to fifteen. Oh, we're gonna and need a few more gears. <laughs> How low is the uh, uh, transfer case in this? Is it a uh, two to one or, you know, or a three to one or four to one? I don't know, but we're, we're in four wheel drive. We're not in low. Oh, not in low? No. I had to walk the bike up this, though. But no, some, like, some oh, Jeeps man. have really cool transfer cases. I did cases. ride it down, down super low. but I rode the brakes oh, yeah. all the way down. <laughs> I rode it down on oh, my this has on the side. Yeah. Electronic <laughs> uh, hill descent. Oh, I love that. It has differential braking. Yeah. It, and you, you'll hear it in a minute. You'll think we're scraping something, but it's actually the computer applying the brakes on the wheel. Yeah. 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 So far, we haven't lost traction on any of the four wheels. Oh, well, there's a. Uh, is that a yeah. yeah. First one I've seen. Well, we're just in the early March, so... No, it's usually, green. It's, it's usually green right Whoa, now. Whoa, you're right. We got a view. Yeah, good view, and this is... You can turn around in that little spot up there. It's a beautiful day, and we made it to the top of the hill. The top of another hill. So we have over there Madeira Canyon. Sonoida over that hill. I guess that'd be Sonoida over there. So those will be the Chiricahuas over that way, right? I believe so. Yes. And then, do we know what those mountains are called? I sure don't. Hmm. But Donnie just looked it up. Those are the, that's the Rincon? Yes. Rincon in Spanish means yeah. corner. There's a little barrel cactus over here. <laughs> uh, and then the Santa... Santa Rita's are over here, is that right? Santa, Santa Catalina right here. Santa Catalina, that's where Madeira Canyon's on the other side. Yeah. And it says, oh, Santa Rita, 
Now, Santa Catalina is northeast of Tucson. Oh, Santa, Santa Catalina, northeast of Tucson. That's what we're seeing just through the crack over there. The and then what? And south is the Santa Rita? Santa Rita, yeah. All this. Okay. Anyway, lots of mountain ranges. We're right in the middle of four of them. This is that you have to think about when uh, Wyatt Earp and his group were in the area hanging out tombstones that way yeah so they would get on horseback yeah and ride to tucson <laughs> out here <laughs> right through the, uh, yep <laughs> to tucson yep wow and and that's all the area they were and then there's reports of them being up in payson yeah north of phoenix and right and i think they went all the way up to deadwood right deadwood they were in deadwood too weren't they yeah and that's in your your neck of the woods so. yeah up in south dakota all on anyway horseback. you can see him you know <laughs> wider riding across the valley <laughs> empire see gulch bird life a cottonwood gallery recognized as a world-class birding destination this tall stand of riparian trees is the densest for many miles. A variety of neotropical migratory birds and resident birds find great nesting and perching sites among these tall trees. Red-tailed hawk, summer tanager, northern cardinal, vermilion flycatcher, kingbird, Mexican jay, indigo bunting, mountain bluebird, yellow warbler, western tanager, western tanager female. And a gray hawk. I think we saw a gray hawk today. You have to make it to the road over there. Did you find? Did you find water? It's a babbling brook, but it's not babbling. It's barely babbling. Barely babbling brook. <laughs> Let's hear you say that like three times really fast. <laughs> barely babbling, barely, See, yeah. barely babbling. Never mind. Barely babbling. Oh, it is babbling. Look at that. <laughs> Don't step in the water, Jerry. Hey, here we are in the desert. It comes off the the. We think it comes. He was saying that's what he said. It thinks it comes off the mountain down there, oh, over across the road. That makes sense. That's where we should take a drive over and see how how the water is over there, Donnie. Yes, no, what? It's a really rough road. Oh, well. Okay, well, another stop along the day's trail. Go where? Right. That left, left there. There's, there's uh, two large rig camping spots there. I've never seen one camp there. Hunting I, closure. No prairie dog hunting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because it's going to be like shooting squirrel I, I, in a bucket. I think they didn't need no prairie dog hunting because that's what we're doing. They yeah. meant no prairie dog shooting. Yeah. And then, well, if they fix the road straight, that's good. There's yeah, that there's, fire there's one. Better, but that's the, the easy spot one to get is over to. the hill. It, this is where we camp with Mike. Me, uh, Mike living free, and me and Donnie were here. If it rains, this is an almost impossible, <laughs> impassable mud pit right here. Yeah, I can imagine. It was pretty wet when we got here. And then here. if you get a big rig, this can be a little bit of a challenge on the rear bumper clearance. But, this, is a, yeah. this is a great spot for, like, there's a lot of tents here. Yeah, this yeah. is where me, the three of us camped for the beginning of the Well, there's two vehicles and one, two, three, four, five, six tents. Yeah. What? Hey, thanks for spending the day with us. I hope you enjoyed our jaunt off into the Los Cienegas National Conservation Area. The tour of the old Empire House. And if you didn't see those... Check back the last two videos. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.